What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Lyman Football and today's video will be a how to for you guys on how to uh, tint dye your very own visor. Uh, as you can see right here I have it on. Um, so yeah, um, I don't have a lot of footage from this just because it was kind of tricky to film. But basically the first thing I did is I cleaned the visor to make sure it's clean. Then I took the dye, uh, I tried using this red dye I bought on Amazon. And unfortunately, as you can see, the packaging is green, but it came out blue. That has something to do with the visor and the coating on it. I'm not quite sure. You know, I've seen some people trying to do it black and it came out burgundy. So I don't really recommend this, but... So yeah, so first thing I did is I clean the visor, then you boil the dye, and you dip it in. Of course, I'll show you guys some footage from that. Then you let it cool. Uh, it took a pretty long time to get it this dark. And yeah, as you can see, if there's any scratches on the visor, it kind of doesn't work at all. It's kind of shitty. So yeah, I'm not, you know, not everything can be complete success, but it was a good learning experience for me and a good waste of my old Nike visor. So, uh, yeah. Okay, so now that I have the dye uh, boiling, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to use some tongs. I'm going to dip my visor in, and I'm going to dip it in for around... 10 seconds or so, I'm just going to put a little stopwatch on here. So let's dip it in for around 10 seconds, see how much dyed it is, and then you can dip it in again if you want to get it darker. Okay guys, so uh, right here I'm just uh, showing you this basically just simple time lapse. It actually took me a lot longer than 10 seconds. I had it in for around 10 minutes, and then I put it in for another 5 minutes for, of course, 15 minutes. And uh, on screen here, I'm showing you guys pictures at those two times. Uh, basically, I was just taking it out and putting it back in, dipping it, uh, just seeing how dark it was going to go until I realized it was actually going blue. And, uh, yeah, how I think it works is that what happens is the plastic, as it heats up more, then it allows it to absorb more of the dye. Just because at the start, as you can see, it was... Uh, you know, there was nothing actually happening. Okay guys, so now that you've seen how to do it, here we have it on the helmet, of course. And I threw it on just with some of my Nike clips. Um, yeah, I, I really don't recommend this because, first off, you don't know what you're going to get. I bought Kelly Green and it came out in this blue, so I'm not quite sure. Uh, for me to test every single color, it just wouldn't work. It'd be way too expensive. And, yeah, so I, I can't do that. I'm sorry. So I really don't recommend that. What I do recommend, though, is doing the tint. Uh, of course you guys have seen my video on how to tint your own visor with uh, window tint. And I think I'm actually now, because I wanted to get, a, I wanted to do a green visor for my custom helmet. That's going to be going in this shelf. Uh, I want to do green, but I guess it came out blue. So that kind of sucks. And so I guess I'm going to buy some green window tint and do that instead. But yeah, I really don't recommend this. I think the, this little box was like $8, but again, you don't know what you're going to get. Also, uh, with any scratching at all on the visor, let me just rip this off pretty fast, show you guys what we're working with here. So as you can see on here, every single place where it's been scratched didn't come out clean. I have this big patch in the middle where it didn't come out just because it's missing the coating or something. You know, you can see just how bad it came out and how hard it is. It's way harder to see through this blue just from all the scratching I have on this old visor compared to like the tint and water right here. Also the benefits of the tint is it can easily be taken off and worn. So and this is permanent now. Uh, maybe I'm going to take it off. Maybe I'll try some nail polish remover and see how that goes and report back. Because it's kind of a stupid waste for me to do this. But uh, yeah, so there you guys go. There's the how-to. Um, not everything can be a winner, but yeah. 